Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support the channel. First article of interest for today, an economist comments on a proposal to reduce the value of the Iraqi dinar against the dollar in order to provide employee salaries. Economist Rasa Malakidi, Thursday, 14th May 2020, warned against floating the Iraqi dinar against the dollar, that is, to reduce the value of the Iraqi dinar against the dollar, according to a proposal put forward by economists to provide additional funds for the Iraqi budget to be paid as salaries for employees. al said in an interview with Baghdad Today, the issuance of any decision to float the dinar against the dollar in light of the current conditions in Iraq is very dangerous for the country which is basically suffering from uncontrollable losses, namely fees, customs, taxes and many other financial resources. And that, the flotation does not constitute an increase in the value of the Iraqi dinar, but rather we will see an increase in the exchange rates of the dollar because of the lack of its acquisition in the global market, especially with the decline in global oil prices. He added that, the flotation will lead to a significant increase in prices, and will be paid by the poor. Noting that, the flotation is taken in light of the stable financial conditions of the state, as well as the diversification of the economy and its dependence on resources other than oil. al said that, floating the dinner against the dollar is launching the process of buying and selling without any limits, and the country will face an unprecedented rise in prices with limited and steady salaries, so conditions will be more difficult, especially in the humanitarian context. Economists suggested reducing the value of the Iraqi dinar against the dollar by a value ranging between 1,300 dinars or 1,400 against $1 to provide additional budget resources that allow part of the salaries to be dispersed, while others considered that any proposed float process may go out of control and cause a significant increase in the price of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar. Next article of interest. Member of Parliamentary Finance Answers What will happen if the central bank stops selling the dollar? Member of Parliamentary Finance Committee MP Ahmad al-Safar confirmed on Thursday, 14 May 2020, the necessity of the dollar sale window in the central bank, while revealing the repercussions of what happens if the bank stops selling the dollar. Al-Safar said in an interview with Baghdad Today, that, the central bank is an independent institution and has no room for the parliament or the government to interfere in its work, stressing that, the bank has a mission which is to maintain the price of the Iraqi currency, that is, the purchasing power of the dinar and its value against other currencies, including the dollar. He added, the central bank's selling window to the dollar is one of the factors that contributed to the stability of the exchange rate during the last period pointing out that, the selling process was interrupted for a short period that led to an increase in the exchange rate of the dollar and a decrease in the value of the Iraqi dinar, which means that the owners of limited income will be affected because of the high prices of goods and merchandise. Al-Safar pointed out that, the dollar sale window is very necessary to preserve the value of the Iraqi currency, but the amount of sales and its mechanism need to be reconsidered according to specific considerations. That is, that the sale process is specific for traders who import goods and goods in exchange for official papers, noting that, there is a recent talk that others and banks that benefit from the sale. The Central Bank of Iraq confirmed, yesterday, Wednesday, its commitment to a list of criteria that include compliance points, and the introduction of banks to the window of foreign currency sale. Isan Shamran al Yasiri. Director General of the Central Bank's Accounting Department, said in a statement that, discrimination does not exist in entering the currency sale window, but some banks do not meet the criteria adopted by the bank, for quality and compliance with decisions, especially regarding money laundering units. al Yasiri added that, some who fail to reach the criteria of the Central Bank, are accused of discrimination. Next article of interest. They have to do with the 2020 budget. Two proposals before the al qasemi government to overcome the economic crisis. Member of Parliamentary Finance Committee, Shervin Mirza, revealed on Thursday, 
14th May 2020, that two proposals are presented to the government of Prime Minister Mustafa Akazemi to overcome the economic crisis and secure salaries. Mirza said, in a press statement, that the economic advisors in the cabinet presented two proposals to the new government to bypass the economic crisis and secure salaries, noting that the first proposal is to prepare a monthly federal budget law based on imports and expenditures for each month, and the second suggests that it be one budget for the remaining six months of the fiscal year. And he added, these two proposals or options are still under study, research and discussion between the government and its economic advisors and the Ministry of Finance teams to adopt one of them, explaining that both options aim to secure payment of salaries of employees, retirees and social welfare. Mirza pointed out that the two proposals or options presented for discussion will be adopted by one of them in the federal budget law before sending it to the House of Representatives to legislate it adding that the budget for the year 2020, monthly or for the remaining six months, will be operational in austerity without an investment budget. The MP from the PUK bloc continues that the next budget will be free of job grades due to the corona pandemic crisis that has paralyzed the economic movement in all countries of the world, expecting that the government's plan to prepare the federal budget law will be clear after the holiday. Mirza stressed. The government also has proposals to bridge this austerity budget deficit by resorting to external and internal borrowing, compulsory savings, state of the graceful aggravation and the last currency printing, stressing that the government is studying all of these proposals before proceeding to prepare the general budget law. On Monday, May 11, 2020, Finance Minister Ali Alawi sent a letter of reassurance to employees regarding salary insurance. Abdul Amir told the Iraqi news agency, Ina, we seek to distribute the salaries in full with our expectations for the continued improvement in oil prices. He added, financial matters are difficult, but salaries and people's strength are among the first concerns and priorities of the government. He stressed that this government will face the crises in a serious manner noting that the necessary reforms for the state apparatus require a change in the economic atmosphere. He explained that the global situation is now very difficult and has an impact on the economic movement, noting that oil prices will be improving soon and we expect financial and economic stability at the global level in the coming months. Next article of interest. Parliamentary security reveals the most prominent axes of the upcoming negotiations between Iraq and America. The Parliamentary Security and Defense Committee revealed the axes of the upcoming negotiations between Iraq and America. There are several axes that will be discussed with the visit of the American delegation to Baghdad and the meeting of the Prime Minister, including the scheduling of the withdrawal of American forces and the issue of cooperation between the United States and Iraq. The committee member Abbas Sarout told Euphrates News. He pointed out that the presence of previous American forces for training, rehabilitation and logistical support for the Iraqi forces, and these are all after the withdrawal of the bases of the American forces, they withdrew with them, especially the maintenance units for Iraqi fighter planes F-16 what affected the military ability, and these matters need negotiation in addition to the economic crisis and oil prices. However, the most important thing is the security aspect and the order that the Prime Minister pledged to the House of Representatives, which is negotiating the issue of the survival of the American forces and their future in Iraq, he added. And, as for the American weapon that the Iraqi state bought with billions of dollars and its equipment is American, then cooperation in terms of armament must continue, and the weapon of every country is not suitable for the equipment of another country. We in the Security and Defense Committee asked the military leadership to have multiple weapon sources, even when Iraq's relations with any country are affected, we have other alternatives such as the Russian S-300 and S-400 missile systems, as Iraq is making an effort to obtain these weapons. And all these issues will be present at the negotiating table with the American side.
It is noteworthy that Iraq is currently studying all the files that will be discussed with the United States of America and discussing them with the various parties concerned with these files for their maturity and presenting them to Prime Minister Mustafa Al-Qazemi before the start of the negotiations scheduled for next month. These files are not limited to the security aspect, but also relate to the strategic relationship between the two countries, as well as include the economic, political, as well as cultural areas established within the Strategic Framework Agreement. Next article of interest. Parliamentary source. Alcazma's government will print the currency to pay employees' salaries. Parliamentary source confirmed, Thursday, that the government of Prime Minister Mustafa Alcazemi will go to print a new local currency in order to pay the salaries of employees. The source said to, I of Iraq News. This measure is one of the solutions to overcome this economic crisis that is ravaging the country, so it is necessary to find harmless solutions for future generations such as the use of cash or gold reserves in the central bank. He pointed out that we, after the application of this procedure, we expect a decrease in the Iraqi dinar exchange rate against the dollar stressing that this will have a positive impact on activating the industry in Iraq and not resorting to global or regional markets that provide goods to Iraq at low prices because of the high exchange rate that dinar is compared to the currency of Turkey, Iran and others. The financial advisor to the Prime Minister, Maza or Mohammed Saleh, had determined, on Wednesday, the loan disbursements that the government intends to request from home and abroad. Saleh said in a press statement, the government submitted a draft law to Parliament in order to authorize it to borrow from internal and external financing sources, in order to bridge the deficit and enhance public financial liquidity when necessary. And, the borrowing came because of the financial hardship that the country is going through, and in order to bridge the revenue deficit gap against fixed expenditures, especially in the operating budget. He added, the legal cover did not provide the government with internal and external borrowing, due to the lack of a federal budget law for the year 2020. He pointed out that, internal or external loans will be included in the event of legislation for the budget for the year 2020 or its alternative the final account at the end of the fiscal year, as a reality. Saleh said, External loans will go towards supporting investment projects and completing the stalled ones and the urgent need to launch them, while internal loans will be allocated towards the operational budget and the government's needs for insurance of salaries and others. It is mentioned that the Iraqi Council of Ministers approved the draft of the domestic and foreign borrowing law to finance the fiscal deficit for the year 2020 and refer it to the Parliament in accordance with the provisions of the constitutional articles. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.